Banks are racing to raise interest rates. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. I want to have a look at this article written by Lucy Dean for Yahoo Finance. So breakneck speed, NAB and ANZ race to hike rates. Australia's biggest banks are in the middle, midst of a rate hike race with both ANZ and NAB increasing mortgage rates since Thursday. ANZ revealed it would increase rates, fixed rates by up to 0.4% on Friday, marking the second ANZ rate hike in three weeks. We can see here the difference on a $500,000 loan, even though, well, the average loan in Australia is actually five hundred and eighty grand. We can see here that means ANZ now has no advertised rate below 2%, while NAB has just its one-year 1.99% fixed rate. And on Thursday, NAB announced it would increase its fixed rates by up to 0.15%. NAB has also lifted fixed rates twice in five months, and we can see here. There you go. This is the biggest one, half a percent. 51 basis points, 133 a week. So for a 580 grand mortgage, that works out to another 150 a week, 133 a month, $150 a month in payments. So no, you know, it won't be too long till you start seeing, well, 50 bucks a week increase in your mortgage repayments. Banks are raising fixed rates at breakneck speed as the economy rebounds and funding costs increase, Rate City Research Director Sally Tyndall said. We've started... What started as minor adjustments by the banks has turned into a significant and sustained move north for fixed rates. It's unlikely to slow, Tyndall added, noting that both both Westpac and Combank have also increased rates recently, meaning all major banks have now hiked rates since October. The number of fixed rates under 2% is dropping rapidly. While there's still plenty of choice among short-term rates, there are now just four three-year fixed rates under 2%, and no, four or five years under this mark, she said. So what does it mean for borrowers? The rate hike frenzy means that an owner-occupier taking out a $500,000 principal and interest loan for a three-year fixed rate will pay an extra 162 per month on average compared to someone taking out the same mortgage six months ago. So it's going to have a cooling effect on the housing market, guys. There you go. There's the biggest increase, four years, from 2.2 to 2.87. Customers currently in the queue for a fixed rate should consider paying a rate lock fee in this environment, Tyndall said. That, that can be up to 1000 bucks. I understand. The number of fixed rates under 2% is dropping rapidly. While there's still plenty of choice, they're not yet. We've just seen that. That's the same thing from their, their, you know, the plug for Rate City. So, I mean, let's have a bit of a talk about this, guys. We're seeing this more and more as fixed rates go up. Now, this is the banks anticipating that the U.S. might, Federal Reserve might rate rates, which is where a lot of the, well, the banks get their funding for some of the fixed rates. Now, they're preparing, they're planning. Is this going to re- result in a, you know, people flooding, you know, right at the edge, tipped over, forced to sell? No, we're not going to see that happening, guys. People are ahead on their mortgages. They've got liquidity buffers. And... It's still so, so cheap. You're not going to have established homeowners flood to the market in desperation. And we've seen here what happens in Australia when we even get close to that. They'll just, you know, mortgage keeper will manifest. What we'll see is the borrowing capacity of people trying to get into the market dented. And that, that may, well, reduce the ability for people to compete for property. But then, don't worry, we have, uh, well, increased immigration, uh, international students, all of this turning back on again next year. So we'll have to see what happens there. What do you reckon, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. And check out this last video about rate rises. It's something we need to keep an eye on, but it's not something I'm entirely worried about now. Remember, the banks plan for a 3% buffer. We'll have to see what happens once we hit a 5% rate rise. We get to normal cash rates. Take care. I'll see you next time.